All right, calculus, we're looking at the definite integral from 0 to the power of 4 of this function that contains trigonometric uh, functions in the top and bottom. And notice that this is saying, hey, you might want to use a trig identity here. So you actually need a couple when you set this up. And this is very similar to the problem that we did uh, in another example where we had a sum or difference in the numerator. And oftentimes we end up in integration, we end up breaking that apart into multiple integrals. Not always, but it is something very common to see when you see a, a plus or minus in the numerator, but not the denominator. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to break this apart into two integrals. 1, 6 over the cosine squared d theta, and then the plus 7 sine theta over the cosine squared. All right, now, your trig identities, hopefully you remember them here. Like This is 1 over the cosine squared, and remember, that's the same thing as secant squared, right? And so if it's a 6, like we have here, that just means it's 6 secant squared. So this first integral, we can just say this is 6 secant squared d theta. And the reason why that's important is because we're integrating this, and that's the derivative of tangent. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared, therefore the integral of secant squared is going to be tangent. Now this one's a little trickier. We've got the 7. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split this cosine squared in the denominator apart into cosine times cosine in the denominator like that. All right? And because I have a sine up top, just a single sine, I can replace one of these ones with a sine. And now this is tangent. And then like we saw before, 1 over cosine is secant. So sine over cosine squared is just secant times tangent or tangent times secant. And if you recall, that is the same thing as the derivative of secant. The derivative of secant is secant times tangent. So this becomes 6 tangent theta from pi over 4 down to 0, plus this just becomes 7 secant theta from pi over 4 down to 0. Tangent of pi over 4 is 1, and then the tangent of 0 is 0. So that part's just going to be 6. All right, the secant of pi over 4, cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2, which is the same thing as 1 over the square root of 2. So therefore, the secant of pi over 4 is the reciprocal of that, which is just the square root of 2. So this is the square root of 2, All right? But then the secant of 0 is not 0. The secant of 0 is 1 because, again, it's a reciprocal cosine of 0, and the cosine of 0 is 1. So we're subtracting 1 on that second part. All right, so here we're going to distribute through. We go to 6. Here we get a positive 7 square root of 2, and then 7 minus 1 is negative 7. So this is 6 minus 7 is negative 1. So this is 7 square root of 2 minus 1 is that area underneath this curve for this definite integral. All right, I got Desmos checking this for me. There is the original integral. There is, I've got x's in there. Right, let me show you. Um, I just do x's for all my variables when I'm using um, Desmos, but you can actually write with Desmos. You can write T-H-E-T. And then as soon as you write the letter A, it changes to theta, T-H-E-T-A, T-H-E-T-A. All right. And it understands if you want to type all that out, that's perfectly fine. It will um, it'll integrate. It understands as long as you put it in, in all places. And you have to have a differential for Desmos to work. Okay. So I just use X's in, in place of variable because it's a variable is a variable. Um, but just understand that Desmos can handle uh, theta. 